The idea is that when you're doing complex uh, systems, you really need both experiments and you need to integrate those experiments with mathematics. Uh, it's unique in cancer and in, in biology in general where we've actually put the two groups together with, with that very idea. Weather is, the, is, the, is a complex dynamical nonlinear system that we are most familiar with because we live it every day. On D-Day, um, there was a tremendous problem with weather, um, but they didn't have computational models, and so what they had was, was they had um, enough data to know where the weather patterns were, but the only way they could predict the future was based on historic information. Where did those weather patterns usually go in the, in the past? And so, in some ways, that's sort of cohort data. So we, we, we I feel like we're kind of at that stage of, uh, development in cancer. Now, we have lots of studies that show that on the average, patients that get this therapy usually do this. But we can't really narrow that down to individual patients. And I think that where we need to go next is to really get that, that uh, a computational model that can help us say that for every patient, for this patient, we have a hurricane model. And if we do nothing to the tumor, this is what will happen. If we give this therapy or this therapy or this therapy, this is what will happen. On the reverse of that, we need to be able to say, okay, let's take the best outcome. What, what, let's let the computer go through the parameter space and tell us that what, what's the best combination of therapies, what's the best sequence, dose, timing, and so forth that gives us the longest survival for this individual.